Okay, so audio is a great way to visualize things on oscilloscopes, and so um, let me walk you through that a bit. So first we're going to need to um, get an audio source, and so there's a lot of them that you can get. Um, I'm going to choose to use a virtual piano, and in this case it's right here, virtual piano. And um, the next thing we're going to need to do is to get a audio cable that we can clip the analog discovery onto. And so um, I have a couple here. Um, this is the one that I'll be using. So basically, um, I just took this from my TV. So old school, really old school TV. But um, so it has um, power ground and then the audio jack on the side. And so then what I am going to do is I need to find a way to connect um, these little analog discovery squid adapters. The two that really matter is um, the positive for the scope, so that's one, and um, in the ground. And so, and then I also got these little mini grabber clips. So these mini grabber, and I'll have close-up photos of this. But what, you're, what you'll do with the mini grabbers is that you'll see inside, um, you'll actually put the breadboard, female breadboard wire, into the mini grabber. And then, find a way to connect that to this side. Um, since I don't want to destroy this cable because I need to reuse it, I'm going to use an alligator clip, and then I'm going to clip this grabber hook onto the alligator clip instead. Okay. okay, so that grabber hook's not working for me, so I'm just going to take the alligator clip and actually clip it into the grabber hook, like right here. All right, and then flip it over and connect this breadboard wire directly into it. Okay, so that's, I have the analog channel there. Now I need to connect ground, so same setup, but on the, on this one. And uh, I'm going to connect ground into, um, I must have dropped it. Oh, here it is. I'm going to connect ground. This is ground. <laughs> connect ground. Okay, done touching with that. Okay. So I have my audio source, and so, and then, um, and then I also have this connected to the analog discovery. So I'm going to plug in the audio source, which is the digital keyboard. Um, before I plug it in, okay, plug it in. Okay, so next we're going to go to waveforms, but first I'm going to plug in the USB of the analog discovery port. Um, plugged in, and then I'll go to waveforms. Okay, it's opening up. Um, that's my discovery serial number. Open up the scope. All right. Um, I only need one channel, so I'm going to click out of this. I'm going to let the default sit right now. Um, basically, this is. Um, uh, division volts per second division base and then offsets position and range is um, uh, range is like the zoom that you can have but this is uh, position and zoom all right so um, I have my device Device. I'm going to plug in the audio cable. Um, get back. Okay. And um, I have the discovery connected to the positive of uh, W1 and ground. Uh, this just came loose, so I'm going to make sure it's plugged in again. All right, and then I'm going to hit run. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. So I'm hmm. Pressing the real. Hmm, pressing. Um, alternatively, I can pull up a song. Um, I don't know what I have on my iPhone. of a song playing, and this is what the song waveform looks like. I need a faster computer. Here I'm going to play around a little bit with the waveform. Um, I'll keep the offset at zero. I can stop it. And then if I need to like zoom in, move the waveform around, running. Yep. So very easy. Visualize an audio waveform um, using the Animal Discovery. Thanks.